Hey, this is Eddie Hale, and this week in my Adobe Illustrator class, we're going to learn about the type tools. The first thing I want to tell you about the type tools in Adobe Illustrator is don't use them. Really, Adobe Illustrator is about illustrations, so you shouldn't make a type-heavy document. I hope you'd never make a document like this, or this, or this in Adobe Illustrator. I don't even want you to make your resume or a cover letter in Adobe Illustrator. All of those type-heavy documents should be made in a program called Adobe InDesign. Illustrator Type is for things like logos and unusual effects like type on a path or type on a circle. Let's make a couple of things with type in Adobe Illustrator now. Okay, we'll start with a short tour of the type tools. I've pulled them off here. The only two I ever use are the type tool and the type on a path tool. You're welcome to explore these other ones if you like. The type tool, I always just click it and then I type. I never drag out a rectangle because then your type doesn't fit. Just click with the type tool and type your type that way. We are going to explore the character panel. I just hit Command T there to bring that up. Okay, there are a few little logos that you have to make in this week's assignment, and we'll play with some of those and take a tour of the character panel that way. I'm going to type lowercase western the essential, the essential experience. The font for this is Aachen. You can click on this and scroll through the fonts to find your way to Aachen. What I often do is if I know the font, I will just start to type it in there and Illustrator will go there. It's Aachen. The style is bold, so you have font and, and style drop-down menus. The size is 18 points, so there's a drop-down menu for size right here. It happens to be really horizontally scaled. This is horizontal scaling right here and the handout says that it's 300% horizontally scaled. The essential experience is all caps, so I'm going to click this all caps button here. It's times, it's eight point type, and it's tracked out to fit under Western. So right here under tracking, I can click this, and what it's doing is adding a thousandth of an M. So I'm just gonna start plugging in some big numbers here to see how far I need it out there. I think I remember it's about 450 or more to get it tracked out all the way under that western. Horizontal scale tracking. The other field here is letting rate here. This is the space between lines of type. If I reduce it, that line moves up towards the line above it, increase it, and it moves away. So that's letting. Here's a, a, an interesting thing I want to show you. If I click again with the type tool, I have to deselect that type. If I click again with the type tool, it remembers the last thing I did. So it remembers all that horizontal scaling and all of that tracking right there. What I always like to do is reset the panel. There's a little pop-up menu here. You can go to reset panel and the type will change back to normal. I've got some pre-baked type here. The next thing I want to show you on the handout was these letters are stretched out vertically. So I can select this vertical scaling here and I can increase the size of these letters. I can click this pop or this drop down menu and make them bigger that way also. So those are bigger and then this letter here is much bigger. I think it's like maybe 250 percent taller something like that. Maybe 300. So that's vertical scaling. Now these crazy things I'm doing they don't make the type more readable. You wouldn't want to set a lot of type this way but in a logo it might be okay. Another field here is this kerning field right here. Look at how the T feels like it's too far from this A right now. I'm going to click in there and I'm going to reduce the space between these two letters. I'll use this drop down menu too and reduce it a lot. If you could remember that term, that would be great. Kerning is the space between a pair of letters. Tracking is when you space out or condense a lot of letters. Horizontal scaling is when you stretch the letters. Please remember that. I wanted to point this out too. If you grab a piece of type with the selection arrow, you can also scale it that way. I can increase the vertical scale a lot just by dragging it that way. I can increase the horizontal scale by dragging it this way. If I undo that a couple of times, I can also just increase the size if I hold the shift key by dragging out from a corner and holding the shift key. So you can adjust the size and scaling of type that way also. The last little thing I want to show you in the type panel is baseline shift. I'm going to select this TH here and baseline shift it up by hitting this 
little button by the baseline shift area and that will shift letters up in the handout this n is shifted down just a couple of points to make sort of a pretty little logo like that. The thing with baseline shift I want you to remember is it's only for a couple of characters. Never use it in place of letting. The letting field is when you want to move a whole line of type up or down. Another thing about the type tool I want you to be aware of is if you're in the type tool and you go near a shape, the type tool is going to turn into the area type tool and it's going to try to fill that shape with type. I don't want that shape to fill with type, so I'm going to undo a couple times to change that back to a shape. If you take the type tool and you go over an open path, it's going to assume that you want to put that type on a path. I don't want to do that either. I'm going to undo that. A trick you can do if you did want to type in this area and you wish it would stop turning into the area type tool is I can select that arrow and I'm sorry, I can select that circle and I can go to object lock selection and that's locked now. I can type near there when I want to unlock that selection, I go to unlock all. I've memorized the keystroke. It's command to and command option to, to unlock that. It'll lock, unlock everything. Locking and unlocking is a trick I use a lot. Excuse me, but that's over six minutes of listening to Ed talk, and that's just too much. I think you should take a break now and come back and watch my next video called Adobe Illustrator Type on a Path. Thanks. Bye.